Hi guys, good morning. I am about to head out to get my hair done. I'm kind of in a rush. Um, I woke up early, podcasted with Danielle, and now I have like 15 minutes to get over there. I'm just wearing these, where are these from? Madden Girls. So they're like the Steve Madden brand, like slip on. The shirt's from Free People. I showed it. I got it from Cheeky Peach. It's just like an oversized tee. Jean shorts, I've worn like this combo before. And I was wearing something else before, so I had my sports bra on, but I'm not taking it off. So I'm feeling very lazy. I was gonna wear a bunch of other outfits that I had kind of planned, but it's currently like 70 degrees. So let's get it. And my hair looks whack, but that's what we're going to get done. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, I kind of have two different ideas. I don't know if we're gonna have time to do the first idea. I just have to do like stick to what I know, um, but it's all good. Oh, and then later I'm going, not until like three, but I'm going to get um, some kind of skincare treatment or like a facial, I don't know specifically what. I also have to post a video and just some random stuff. So that's today. Did the thing. Um, I chopped off, I think she said like three or four inches and I really did, I like didn't realize that it would be this short, but I really like it. My hair grows so fast and it's just gonna be so easy to style. I'll be able to wear it straight all the time and I actually really do like it, so. And I have a middle part going right now. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that, but overall, 10 out of 10. Um, also, I go to Rachel W at La Moda Salon in East Northport and she does such a good job. She's just a really, she's really good at color and she's good at cuts. So just, I haven't gone to her and had a bad experience. So I totally trust her with everything and I really like the way she does my hair. So if you're from Long Island area and you're looking for someone good, go to her and her prices are so reasonable. So I think that you will be a fan. I'm just eating some of this tzatziki Greek style yogurt dip with pretzels. This morning I had hard boiled eggs. I just confirmed that my appointment's for three and it's like 1.15 right now. It's still, it's the place is pretty far away. Like I do want to leave myself time. But I think I want to leave in a little bit, go to Plato's Closet actually, uh, drop off some more clothes. We'll see how much money they'll give me, even if it's not that much. I also need to wash my face. I'm wearing some powder right now. Um, my skin underneath is not good, so I'm not looking forward to like bop around town without makeup on. But I'm legit getting like skin stuff done, so like I need to take off my makeup. 10 out of 10 snack though, so. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, can I please just get a grande nitro cold brew? Uh, so we're all out of cold brew till like 3 o'clock, I'm so sorry. That's okay. All cold brew? Even like regular? Yeah, like all the food. Damn, food okay. Food okay, um, can I just get um, a grande just iced coffee then? Black? What was that? Just a grande black iced coffee? Yeah, of course. Anything else? That's it, thanks. Sounds good. Which one is going to come to? 320. I'm so upset. Alright, well this Starbucks is out of nitro cold brew, so I just got... Um, I actually drove specifically to this one because I know that they have the nitro and they're out. Okay, I'm back at Plato's. I guess I can show you guys what we have. This bag, which is actually all shoes. I actually don't know what their like policy is of shoes. They're all in like pretty decent condition. Like I've had these Stan Smith guys for a while. I don't know. Um, even if I could just get a couple bucks from them, that would be cool. And then back here, oh, I have a full garbage bag full of clothes um well i guess not full but what do we have in here um this skirt is from like misguided oh my gosh i'm selling one of these like j crew like paper bag skirts this hasn't fit me in like 80 years most of this stuff i've either outgrew or uh, i just quite literally don't have a need for so um i might as well get it off my hands and honestly i don't feel like selling on poshmark these days I know you guys really like it because like it's super cool to like shop my closet and stuff and I love doing it when I have the time but since I only have a few weeks home I just kind of wanted to like optimize my schedule. I'm gonna go in. I'll let I'll have to keep you guys updated on how much they offer me. Alrighty. Alright, I did not need anything, but here we are. <laughs> um I was driving by. Actually there was like a, a few things I needed. I don't know why it's so dark. Of course, it's 90 degrees right now. How is this possible? It was literally 50 the other day. I don't know. So I just got um, three things. I actually really needed an eye cream um, because I ran out of my drunk elephant one and I could have repurchased that, but I kind of wanted to try something new and I've tried this before, but I just, you know, always hear good things about it. So I was like, I'll try it again, I guess. It's the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. And it just says this creamy preparation of, uh, it says, whatever. Apply gently with the fingertips along the orbital. 
I'm pretty sure orbital bone. Did I just say that right? Anyways, I'm pretty sure I could use this every day. Um, like underneath makeup, for bed, whatever. I love eye cream. I need it, especially with heavy eye under eye circles, and it just keeps it smooth. Otherwise, I get like really creasy and like my makeup doesn't stand. Then I got a single shadow of Urban Decay Sin. This is just like a great everyday eyeshadow if you just want to like put something on to make it look like you tried. It's so pretty and shimmery, and I find that for people with kind of my complexion, like maybe. I don't know, I'm like pretty pale, but I self tan all the time, so kind of like a tanner complexion. It's really pretty. My mom really likes this too. And then I just got a new Shape Tape concealer. They actually don't sell this at Sephora. I'm pretty positive. Um, so I did pick up a new one. I'm running low on mine, so. Just got a new one and I got it in a little bit of a tanner shade for summer. And now I'm off to uh, Dr. Murata's office. He's actually my plastic surgeon lol when i got my nose job if you didn't know um i did get a nose job i like hate saying it like that i got i i got my nose done i got a nose job how how the how else am i supposed to say it well i did i got my nose done and <laughs> how long ago was that that was in 26 december of 2016 so we're coming up oh my gosh it's gonna be three years in this december i guess so um best decision i ever made for sure uh, no regrets there and I haven't gotten anything else done at his office but my mom goes there to get glycolic peels and like skin treatments and stuff and my skin as I've been complaining about is just not in its best state so I have like a consultation and then whatever it is um, I'm gonna try to vlog but I feel annoying like shoving cameras in people who are working on me's face you know like that's weird so I'm just gonna see what they have to say um, hopefully it's not too pricey but here I am spending. Also, so exciting, I'm on Jericho Turnpike. Um, I just took pictures of that Applebee's the other day, it's right across the street. And then in this shopping center, they just opened up a Whole Foods and we don't have a Whole Foods. We have like one or a few on Long Island, but nowhere near me, like 40 minutes away, 40 plus minutes away. And this one is, it's still pretty far from my house, but it's in a really good shopping center with like the Ulta and everything. So I'm so excited, but I'm going to get this facial. So obviously I work, I'm going to like, get my skin worked on so obviously I can't do that right now because the stuff's gonna send the hot car anyways I think I'm gonna go get the facial go pick up my stuff from Plato's closet and then go to Trader Joe's and pick myself up some food type items maybe some cold brew just to have in the house because I don't really have too much food in the house for myself yeah Starbucks was all out of cold brew and then I got this black iced coffee and I'm just like not in the mood for it right now I'm still gonna drink it, but like, I'm just not in the mood for it. So I'm a little disappointed. It's okay. <laughs> it's definitely not the end of the world or anything. It's just uh, not my ideal fave. Oh, also, um, as per usual, I'll link all of the items. Um, the Shape Tape and the Sin are like consistent favorites in my life. So that's pretty dope. This is the Whole Foods. This is the Ulta. I'm in the parking lot and vlogging, but I'm gonna be safe. Um, and the Whole Foods looks so good. I definitely am gonna have to come back. I might convince um, someone to go with me. I don't know. I wonder if they have a full like smoothie bar and everything, because I love the Whole Foods smoothie bar and this traffic too. And then there's a Target over there. This parking lot, this shopping center, I should say, is really good. Oh, and then there's Bagel Chalet up there. Um, which has really good chopped salad. So this is just like a really good shopping center now Okay, here we go. I need my skin like dealt with so bad so I can't wait to hear what they have to say All right, she just left but I think we're going to do microdermabrasion um, Her name is Kristen. She's so good. She's hooking it up So I'll update you guys after with how it looks but I think I need it like kind of all over. I'm back in my car, so I just went to Dr. Marana's office to get my microdermabrasion. That's what I ended up getting. She was like, you could get the, she recommended for me the microdermabrasion or the hydrofacial, which I was interested in, but I'm actually really happy with this. It legit felt like a vacuum just like on my skin. And I know people do that at home. You could like buy the like system to do it at home. And it actually, it felt really good. And my skin feels really good. She just put a tinted moisturizer on me just so that with SPF, just so that I don't like burn. Cause then we did, I think she did a light glycolic peel at the end, but it was like a level one. So it wasn't anything crazy, but I feel like V cleaned out. It feels very good. Um, definitely a little bit pricey, but I never really do stuff like that. So that was very rare. Now I'm gonna go to Play-Doh's, pick up my clothes. Hopefully I got like, I don't know how much, but 
like some cash <laughs> and then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's get some food I looked up like a grocery list I love just like searching like grocery list ideas Trader Joe's this one that I found is a nutrients a, a, a nutrients nope a nutritionist grocery a nutritionist grocery list Trader Joe's and it just is like a list of ideas obviously I don't need this much stuff it's like packed fat but um, I could get some good stuff we'll see I don't really know it's gonna enjoy the day it's still 86 degrees holy cow got back in the car from Trader Joe's. I actually ended up going to Trader Joe's and then going to, I'm gonna go to uh, Play-Doh's after. I got a good bit of stuff. I'm very excited about it. So first I got this veggie wrap with hummus. Um, I just am really hungry right now and this was like the best option. I don't really like their stuff with meat. I'm not too crazy about the meat in it, but the veggie wrap with hummus I just figured sounded like the best right now. I'm probably gonna eat half of this while I drive because I'm pretty hungry. I didn't really have like a proper like meal today and it's like 4.30, even though I don't know what I'm doing for dinner. Okay, then I got a bag of kale. Figured this was good for salads um, or I could like chef it up in a pan, but I likely will just eat it in salads. Uh, and then I, because I got this dressing, I got the Green Goddess salad dressing. Run, do not walk to Trader Joe's to get this. It is so good. It's cold pressed lemon juice chive and basil and garlic, and it has to be kept refrigerated. It looks like a juice, but it is just uh, a really good salad dressing, and you don't need that much because it's like super creamy and it spread. And then uh, this is like a um, just to keep in the freezer the gluten-free cheese pizza with cauliflower crust. I am addicted I think it's so good, but the other day we had like it was just like a Sunday No one wanted to go out. So we had like a frozen pizza in the oven I mean in the oven in the fridge But I figured this would be just like a good one to keep on hand for when that likely will arise again Oh, this is exciting. I got a lemon and three tomatoes. I figured the tomatoes would be good in a salad. I've been really on a tomato kick. I don't know why I'm really into them. They taste good. And then lemon for my water. And then broccoli. I like to just eat these raw with hummus. So I got just broccoli with the hummus or I could chop it up and put it in a salad. I'm on like a big salad kick right now too. We have this really good thing at home. It's like a chopper tool and you legit just like chop the salads up and it makes it so yummy and chopped. I'm really big fan. And then, uh, I know not everybody's, I mean, I got dairy. I'm not dairy free or anything. I'm not, I don't follow any specific kind of diet. Uh, I legit just eat what I want. <laughs> so I look this way. Uh, this is the light string cheese and it's just so good. It's like a really good snack. And then I got another thing of hard boiled eggs, which yes, I think that's it. Oh, oh well, one more thing. I got uh, rice cauliflower because I kind of want to do like a rice cauliflower stir fry situation like this, maybe with like a fried egg in it, maybe some veggies. I thought that could taste really good. So that's in here. I guess I'll pack all, all this stuff. I actually got a lot of stuff. There's only $30. So it's pretty good. I feel like I have a lot of meals with this stuff. A lot of it is, uh, I'm proud of myself because a lot of it's like produce heavy, which I struggle with because I don't know, I just get a lot of like junk and I need to start eating more whole foods. It's like that's a lot of it. So, this veggie wrap. And then I'm gonna go to Play Doh's and then drive home. Yeah, I feel like I've been out all day, but. Oh, this is pretty like fat, honestly. Let's see how it is. 10 out of 10. Um, it's a little dry tasting, but for the time being, it's a really good like snack to hold me over. There's a lot of veggies in here. I'm kind of shocked. Let's see what kind of veggies are in here. Cabbage, carrots, radishes, broccoli, scallions, cilantro, parsley, hummus, and then pita bread. I just got my package. I ordered from Nordstrom like over the weekend and it's already here. And normally Nordstrom shipping, I swear it takes so long. So I'm completely shocked as to why it's here so quick, but I'll show you guys what I got. And then I'm gonna go sit outside and edit a video outside because it's such a gorgeous day. I'm excited about this. <clears throat> I spent a good bit of uh, money and I haven't been, oh, there's only one pair of jeans in here. Where is the other pair? I guess that they didn't ship that, okay. Um, I got two bodysuits. You know me, I don't like bodysuits unless they're this style, um, but they're from Free People. I don't like bodysuits because I carry all of my weight in my like middle section of my stomach. And like, honestly, I, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I have skinny arms, skinny legs, but proportionally the rest of my body, I would prefer to show my legs and my arms than to show my stomach. So 
I like to wear things that are more forgiving in that area. And um, it looked like on the website that these were, I kind of was feeling bold with this choice. This is, um, they had it in like black and white, but I was like, I need more color. I don't know, this could be a miss, but I kind of like the tangerine. It's like a tangerine color and it's just like a little tank top, but you wouldn't know that it's a bodysuit. So that's what I like about it. So I could wear this with like jeans or a skirt or something like going out in the summer. And I just thought that the color was like fun for summer. I don't know, what do, what do we think? It's a little bold. It's from Free People though. I think this was around $30. Yeah, it was legit $30. I got a medium for reference. I'm probably, I'm a solid medium in Free People. This is from Free People, it's a medium. I don't know. Is another bodysuit then from Free People, which does not look like a bodysuit. This was more expensive. This one was $68. Um, yeah, it's so definitely more pricey. Um, but I ordered them from Nordstrom, but I, I'm sure that they're on the Free People website. But I honestly like shopping on the Nordstrom website. It's easy to browse. I, I like shopping on there. It's just easy. Oh, this is very interesting. Okay, so it looks like just like one of these. They're very popular with the little palms and everything. Just like a high-rise lacy tank top. Oh, I'm popular. It looks just like a high-rise like lacy tank top. Uh, I have the exposure set up. But basically, it is still a bodysuit. I'm confused why they even made it a bodysuit and not just like a tank top. But I thought this, once again, with a skirt or jeans or pants or something could be cute. Actually, on the website, they had this styled under, like, with um, a blazer over it and with work pants. And I think you can make it work appropriate as long as, obviously, you cover your arms because it's very, like, open. But it's super high neck, so I don't see why you can't do that. So stay tuned on this guy. This actually looks like a winner, though. I don't really feel like trying on clothes today. I don't like, I'm feeling like bloated and gross, so no. And then I got a pair of Topshop Jamie jeans. I haven't owned a pair of these in a very long time, and I just got a medium wash. I hope that they fit. I went with my old size, which is a 28 waist. That's, it said it fits like a 27 too. That's risky. Uh, these are the high waist ankle grazer. Yeah, they look like, they're just like really nice jeans. They have a good stretch to them. Um, I've been into my Levi's, but they're like baggier, like mom jeans. I needed just a good pair of skinny jeans that are actual jeans because the Fashion Nova ones that I have are jeggings and they're like cute for like going out and stuff because they're really flattering. But I just needed like a good everyday pair of jeans like I could wear with this t-shirt or something, you know, like that together or like this together, you know. I'm a simple gal. I like a good pair. These were $70. I also ordered another pair in my online order, um, another pair of jeans. They're Topshop mom jeans and mariah has a pair and i used to have a pair but they shrunk in the wash while i put them in the dryer like an idiot so they don't fit anymore so i had to order a new pair but they're really good i also realized that i forgot to tell you guys that i got 40 dollars for my stuff at plato's they didn't take everything i honestly left the stuff that they didn't take in the car but i think it was like some pairs of shoes and stuff but 40 dollars richer honestly if you have stuff that's in like semi-decent condition you should take it to plato's because i bet they'll give you money for it even if it's just like like it's just forty dollars of cash like that's like that was like half the price of my hair today what a deal i think we're gonna go have greek salads for dinner um the woman uh, oh my gosh i think it was Kristen who did my um microderm abrasion my skin feels really good obviously i still have because i'm honestly i pick at my skin around my nose which you can probably tell because it's like bad but um, hopefully that heals the next few days. I'm gonna try to like ease off the makeup the next few days And she gave me this um, Alicidic gel cleanser and she said that this will help with like the acne on my forehead and down here um, Clearing that up in the next few days I'm Wearing my Georgia alum shirt. This is so weird. I don't like it Okay, you guys this is my ideal <laughs> Watching setup. I'm not gonna get for some reason. I'm like weird. I like don't get under the covers I just sit on top and I like prop up all my pillows um, and I just watch on my computer. I actually don't have a TV in this room. I like don't have a TV at all. I have to buy a TV for my apartment. I've never owned a TV. I guess when I was younger I had a TV in my room, but I just watch everything on the computer. So, and then I'm rubbing some CBD oil on me. I talk about this in an upcoming Q&A. I don't know what, like if it actually does anything, but like I like to think that it does and it smells good. And then I have my ice roller just to you know, roll my skin. Um, it feels really good. Honestly, it just feels good on my skin. I don't know if it actually does anything, but it's kind of fun while I watch TV <laughs> to do something. Um, and then I have popcorn because <laughs> um, I just brought it up here. I probably won't. I, I've been eating it. It tastes like very um, healthy. Oh, it's on. And then my planner and then a large glass of water with lemon. Bachelor setup. Bachelorette. Helpful. Do you know Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. I literally sat in bed and watched Bachelorette, and then it was late, so I didn't feel like vlogging, but 
hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, I'm going to be vlogging again today, so yay. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you made it all the way because I know this was kind of a long one But I love you guys so much as per usual follow me on Instagram and Twitter to connect with me Further and like I have giveaways going on and stuff and I love you guys so much. Bye